when it comes to fighting, what whatever made you want to fight? If you think back in your life, like, did, were you did you just kind of at a certain age start to see like, damn, I'm I fight, or did it was there something inside of you? Like, is there a do you well, know what it is? Are you I, able to get a look at it, whatever that is? My dad's a savage. Really, he's crazy, mofo. He's probably still the toughest dude I've ever seen, and and you know he's just too loose cannon. So I try to take that and like focus it right into the the art of you know being a martial artist, a fighter, a boxer. My like I said, you know my dad was a crazy guy. Did you see him fight growing up? Did he fight? Um, I heard stories. We got in fights with the neighborhood people. Yeah. Um, I saw him make people back down from fights a lot. You know, he would get in people's face and be like, I'll bite your nose off. Oh, and then, like, uh, in their yard. You know what I'm saying? Oh, He's that's like, wild. I'm in your yard, pussy. What are you going to do? Yeah. And, uh, you know, he told me one time we fought like the whole block. And like, I was trying to break it up. And I, I was like 13, 14. I was just getting strong. And my dad, I think he was drunk and he wanted me to fight with him, with the neighborhood. And um, I was trying to break it up, and he got mad at me. And then because he wanted you in it, right? He wanted me to yeah. want to do it, I guess. And like you know, I was a kid though, but uh, and I think he got arrested that night. And he 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 got out the next day, and he said that the co he was talking trash to the cops all night, and that they drove into an alley and they beat him with their nightsticks in the back seat. <laughs> they opened the back seat, started whooping his ass. Good stories, man. Yeah, it's good, good stuff, bro. You know? It probably it probably stung a little, but that's a good story. Yeah, bro. We grew up in my neighborhood. People were always fighting, bro. And it was a sign of respect. Like everybody had their shirts off all the time. Dudes walking around with like those. Do you ever see the dude with like the cement arms? He just walk. He just like a. He the only way he know how to move. He just he never even could lift his arms up. They just swinging in front of him. We had that kind of dude. We had a guy who had Down syndrome, bro. But they wouldn't say he had it, bro. So he was always out there fucking people up bro thinking he was in regular education we had like uh dude we had like a whole family was shirtless bro women all of them the whole family was shirtless bro always smoking in their in their house bro the children were smoking cigarettes everybody was out on the block back in the day you know yeah, what i mean you had your fun. bicycle you drove to people's yeah. houses you knock on their door yeah and their mo their mama answered the door you <laughs> yeah, like yeah. damn where your son at we yeah, we yeah. got some hoodlum shit. Yeah, we got some shit to do, yeah, bro. let's go. Hope you enjoyed that video, and you can watch another. And you can watch this one, you can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.